everyone. I'm attorney Aiden Durham with 180 Loco in Denver, Colorado, and you're watching All Up In Your Business, so you know it's a great day. In this episode of All Up In Your Business, we're going to talk about how to legally use copyrighted music on YouTube. But before we get into it, please be sure to like, subscribe, and share if you're so inclined. And check out the description for additional information. There are some links to some free downloadable guides and cheat sheets down there as well. So when it comes to using music on YouTube, the general rule is this. If you didn't create it, then you can't use it. Unless you have permission in some form or another, which we're going to talk about. And this doesn't just apply to music. I'm going to be talking about music, but these concepts uh, apply to using images, games, uh, clips of movies and TV shows, etc. And this also doesn't just apply to using music on YouTube. This applies to um, uh, uh, throughout the interwebs, this uh, rule and these concepts apply to. Uh, there are a lot of objections that I hear when I tell people this rule or when I start having this kind of conversation about music and using it on uh, social media. But Aiden, I credited the artist. It doesn't matter if you credited the artist. You can't use it. But Aiden, I told everyone in the comment that I didn't own the rights to the song. It doesn't matter if you acknowledge that you don't own the right to use the song. You still don't have the right to use the song. All you've done now is just acknowledge that. So that can actually probably hurt you more than help you. But Aiden, I only used like 10 seconds of the song. I read on the internet that as long as it's 10 seconds or less, it's fine. It doesn't matter if it's just a short clip 10 seconds, 30 seconds, it doesn't matter. You still can't use it. The only way to actually legally use music on YouTube is by getting permission of the copyright holder. And if you do use music that you don't have the right to use on your videos or on social media somewhere else, uh, obviously your account or your video can get taken down, your account suspended or removed. And then of course you can also have issues with the artist or the copyright holder of the song. You could end up owing them damages. So it's not like, uh, you know, this is just a little issue. Uh, three seconds of a song could turn into years of hurt. This permission or authorization, it can come in a few different forms. The first is songs that are in the public domain. Songs that are in the public domain mean there's no longer a copyright on those songs. For the most part, they are free to use and um, do really whatever you want with them. If there is a song that's in the public domain, a recorded song, you can use that re recording of the song or you can recreate the song yourself, make a cover song in a video. Um, the public domain songs are a good option for finding music for your videos. But it's really important to remember with the public domain, it applies to not the song itself. It applies to the uh, recording of the song. So if you find a song that is in the public domain, uh, that version, that recording of the song can be used. But if you find um, someone who last year made a cover of that public domain song, they recorded a cover of it and it's downloadable on the internet. Their cover, which was released last year, is not in the public domain. So you can't use that one without that person's permission. Which brings me to the next option for using music in YouTube. Ask for permission and get it in writing. If there's something out there that you want to use in your video, a song, if you found a, a you know, a underground artist and you really want to feature their music in your video, 
reach out to the artist. Ask them if you can use that song in this video. And when you're explaining it to them, keep in mind what else you're gonna do with that video because that needs to be part of what you're getting permission for. You might be using it on YouTube in your video, but you might share that video to Facebook or to uh, Twitter or Instagram. You might email it out to your followers or you might take clips of it and, and repurpose it for some other purpose. Now that person's song isn't just being used in your video on YouTube. It's being used on all these other platforms too. So those are details that you want to think of is where else is this video going to go? What else might I do with this content? So anyway, you can ask for permission and make sure you get it in writing. The third option for legally using music in YouTube videos is to use it under a license. You can buy licensed music from a lot of different sources. A few that I'm familiar with that I've used before are Incompetech and CC Mixture. And I'll link those down in the description. That's a great option if you have a song in mind and you can find it on one of these sites, you can purchase a license to use that music. You just have to make sure that you're using it in accordance with the terms of that license. And you want to make sure you know exactly what the license is before you buy it. So you know that you can use it for what you want to use it for. There's also the YouTube audio library, which has a ton of free licensed music for us to use in our videos. And then you can also use music under a Creative Commons license. Music under a Creative Commons license can be used for free as long as you abide by their licensing terms. There are three different types of Creative Commons uh, licensing attribute requirements. So let's take a look at those real quick. There's the attribution license, which means it's free to use, free to distribute, and free to modify however you want, but you have to give the appropriate credit, indicate if you changed the work at all, and then you have to provide a link to the license. There's attribution share alike, which is also free to use and distribute and modify. It's pretty much the same restrictions as the attribution license, but any derivations that you create have to be distributed under the same license as the original work. So basically, anything you create with that first work has to be under that same Creative Commons license, which means it'll be free for other people to use under that license as well. And then there's the attribution no derives, which means no derivatives. Again, it's free to use, but you can't make any derivative works meaning that you can't remix it or transform it or build upon it. There are two sets of identical licenses um, for commercial and non-commercial use. So those three that I talked about, there's three for commercial use and then three for non-commercial use. If you're using it for your business or if you're generating income from your channel, in directly or indirectly, then it's a commercial use. So those are the ones that you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to. Best practice is to use the attribution license as much as possible for commercial use because it gives you the most flexibility uh, with the work itself. With any of these licenses, Creative Commons licenses or buying licenses from a music library or even using the free licenses from the YouTube Music Library. It's important to pay attention to exactly what is required under the license and what you're allowed to do under the license because those terms are always going to be a little different. Some you may not have to give any kind of credit or attribution. You can just use it and you don't have to say another word. Uh, often you do have to credit the artist or the copyright holder or link to the license. So you want to be aware of all those restrictions and requirements for the license itself. And then finally, the last way to legally use music on YouTube is under the fair use doctrine. The fair use doctrine 
permits occasional unlicensed use of copyrighted work in certain situations. It's uh, much more complicated to go into for this video, but certain types of use fall under the fair use doctrine. So you can use a song um, even if you don't have a license if your use falls under fair use. Typically, fair use is gonna apply to things like uh, commentary or criticism. So if you are um, talking about music and commenting on different types of music and you use a clip of a song and make some comment on it or, or use it as a part of the subject matter, then that might fall under fair use or if you're using it for uh, teaching, educational purposes, something like that, that typically falls under fair use too. And like if you're using a portion of a work to create something substantially new, if you're uh, using a, a small portion of something and you're turning it into a brand new creation, then that can sometimes be fair use too. But, the big, big but here is that fair use is a defense to copyright infringement, which means that you don't get to say fair use until someone has said you're infringing. So that means uh, you've already gotten the cease and desist letter. You've already probably consulted with your attorney. Maybe you've already been served with uh, court paperwork. Maybe you've already hired an attorney to represent you. Maybe you have a hearing or a negotiation meeting. Then you get to say, oh wait, this was fair use. You can say all throughout that process, this was fair use. But if the other person disagrees, you still have to go through that process to find out if the judge is going to say that it was fair use. So yes, while fair use is a way to use copyrighted works without a license, I strongly discourage you from relying on that because you could still have to go through a lot to use it as support for why you're allowed to use those works. So if you wanna use somebody else's content and it's not available for free, or you can't purchase it under a license or Creative Commons, just start by contacting them for permission. I have, I've had a lot of people ask me if they can use my videos and my content in one form or another. Why in the world would I say no to that? As long as my videos, as long as my content isn't being altered or modified in some way that reflects poorly or damages the high quality and integrity of this channel, why the heck wouldn't I want someone to share it and show it to other people and spread the gospel that is all up in your business? Uh, if you're showing support for an artist and their work and you're saying, I want to use this, I want to spread it and, and share it with people, I would hope that most of them are okay with that. That's all for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Aiden Durham, and I'll see you next time.